Flores. And I'm Nick McGurk, in for Emily Clark. Well, it's been a year, actually less than a year after a man is convicted of sexually abusing a child. He's now charged with attempting to sexually exploit a minor. Now the question tonight, why was this convicted sex offender able to reoffend with only 20 days of jail as his original sentence? This is Tyler Erickson, convicted of meeting a 12-year-old girl online and raping her, hoping, according to court documents, to have a baby with her. A 12-year-old? Uh, that's terrible. Kent Morgan is former assistant chief prosecutor for Salt Lake County, and we came to him today to ask how Erickson could have received such a light sentence. 20 days in jail, 10 years probation, only to reoffend less than a year later. There are so many sex offender cases out there. The judges have to decide which ones deserve to go to prison immediately and which ones don't. Morgan says a few factors might have been on the judge's list. A 20-year-old with no prior history, for example. But after Summit County prosecutors brought the charges, the judge's sentencing last year drew a rebuke from the prosecutor in Summit County, criticizing the judge's sentence as far too lenient. All sex offender defendants have mental diseases and disabilities that cause them to engage in this behavior in the first place. Earlier this month, Erickson charged with using the internet to seduce a 16-year-old girl, sending lewd photos and proposing sex. Morgan says by all accounts, his original sentence was light, but points out the volume of cases in court is heavy. Do we fill up the prisons with all the sex offenders and leave everybody else out? Uh, sex offense is, uh, is a terrible crime, but it's not the only terrible crime that's out there. Now we reached out to the Summit County attorney who declined to comment on this case. Haven't yet heard back from the Utah County attorney either. Now for his part, Erickson is behind bars at the Utah County Jail and will face a judge again next week.